Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 6, 2020. Before I start off, I want to say thank you to all my viewers and all my subscribers because without you guys, this channel would be basically a dud and because of that, I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. So to start off with, we have Steve Mnuchin uh, was saying on a news conference today that him and the president are in support of a more stimulus for the economy. In fact, he said that they're willing to pass a smaller bill for the economy right now, and then in 30 days, pass a second bill if needed. I do have a video clip for you guys to watch that will help explain this better than I did, so please indulge me and I shall be right back to enlighten you with more wonderful information. Thank you. It's now Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin. Mr. Secretary, thanks. Welcome back to Fox News Sunday. Thanks, Brett. It's great to be with you. I'd like to start with where the coronavirus stimulus bill, the next iteration, stands in the negotiations as of right now. Well, Brett, the president and I couldn't be more pleased with the way the economic plan is working. We've injected $3 trillion into the economy. People thought we'd get 25% unemployment. Fortunately, it never came close to that. We're down, down to 84 but the president and I believe we should do more stimulus. We have about seven and a half million jobs that we need to get back until we're back to where we were. And we want to help small businesses. We want to help uh, businesses that are particularly impacted by this. And we'll continue to work on proposed new legislation. So what's the sticking point? Does Speaker Pelosi want this, do you believe? Well, I, I think, you know, uh, in my discussions with the speaker, where we're really stuck is both on certain policy issues, but more importantly, on the top line, uh, the speaker has refused to sit down and negotiate unless we agree to something like a two and a half trillion dollar deal in advance. And Brett, as you know, we put three trillion dollars into the economy when the economy was completely shut down. We've now reopened the economy. Well, let's let's do a more targeted bill now. If we need to do more in 30 days, we'll continue to do more. But let's not hold up the American workers and American businesses that need more support. And then this morning, Senator John Brasso, who is the chair of the Senate Republican Committee, um, didn't have anything nice to say about Nancy Pelosi. In fact, he called her a Disney villain. I do a video clip of her calling her that as well, so if you please indulge me with that little video clip as well, I shall be right back. Thank you. So th to me, this is Nancy Pelosi as Cruella DeVille, saying no to paycheck protection for workers and small businesses all around the country, but at the same time, telling one small business that they should open, but only open for her. This is a sign of contempt right. for the and American workers. And on... The unemployment news, uh, they're saying that our 1.4 million jobs that was added in August is a good thing, even though we're going to have 283,000 people being unemployed once the U.S. Census is taken care of, because the U.S. Census being taken care of was a temporary assignment in the first place, so once all that stuff is taken care of, those 283,000 people are going to be on, on the unemployment line as well which will take our 8.4% unemployment up to a higher number. And like I said, we still have like 29.9 million people on unemployment. And I don't expect that number to decrease anytime soon because job places are actually afraid to hire people because of the COVID-19 and the whole fact that they don't want to have a lawsuit against them because they don't have no liability protection as the Republicans want it. Um, if they're going to give liability protection out, I fear they should give it out to every single American. This way, no one can sue no one of this COVID-19 thing. Unless we're going to sue China, where the coronavirus came from in the first place. But that's a different topic. And let's see, California has restarted payments uh, to the residents with unemployment from the FEMA, the FEMA grant. Or, this is what it is, FEMA grant. And I do have a... Uh, map of all the states that are paying out and which ones are paying out the $400 or $300 and I will put that up as well. And 
I will go over the the president's payroll protection plan. No, not payroll protection plan. <laughs> it, 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 it's basically a payroll tax deferral because it's, it's, it's not a cut. Because it was a cut, he'd have to have legislation to pass it. And I said for that one, it's going to be hitting with 1.3 million federal employees. They're going to hit that, get that no matter what. They have no choice. Small businesses do have the choice of opting out of this, but unfortunately that part of legislation has not been written yet to give them that option. So right now small businesses are not being included in this. Because I know I work for a small business and I'm sorry, but I do not want my social security taxes and Medicare taxes to be left in so I get hit next year twice as hard from January to April 31st. And like I said, I mean, let's see here. The estimated uh, allotment time for the FEMA money going for unemployment is going to be three weeks. Because they said California is one of the states already paying out, and they got $4.5 billion of FEMA money. So basically, every state's going to get a lot of money, and they're going to run out in three weeks. And hopefully, within that, before three weeks is up, our Congress will actually get off their butts and do something to help out the people. And not help out the stock market where all the money is really going because as i've reported in earlier episodes steve mnuchin and the feds are pumping billions and billions of dollars into junk bonds or corporate bonds as it's really called to pump up the stock market because the ultra rich don't see the small people like me and my viewers out here as anything to care about because all they care about is the money in their bank accounts so they can live while the rest of people suffer and starve I think this needs to change because I think the rich people need to realize that everyone's human on this planet and everyone suffers and they need to start caring. But that's a long, long ways away because rich people will always look at people like me and you as lower than them and less than them, which is not, not accurate because everyone was created equal. And just because someone has more money than the other person does not mean that that other person is less than the person with more money but they like said this is all my viewpoints on this whole topic i do have a few still shots i'm going to include into this video as well as the video of steven mnuchin and uh, john brasso i'm also going to they like said include uh, um a, a still shot of they're estimating 400,000 Americans will have lost their life to COVID-19 by the end of this year is what they're estimating. I'll have that picture up there as well, as well as another one talking about how Trump's trying to play off the fact that he did not know Russian people were killing off U.S. soldiers, as well as more. Yes, that's right. I am knocking on Trump because Trump deserves nonetheless. But that's besides the point. <laughs> he's, he's a big loser anyways. But, um... Like I said, this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 6, 2020. You guys have a magnificent Sunday. Try to get some food in your stomachs and stay safe out there, okay? Bye.